Our solar system has only eight planets. But what do you know about the planets outside of it? They're called exoplanets. In this video, you'll get to know what exoplanet is closest to Earth, what its weather is like, and does it have any oceans? But most importantly, can this planet host life? You'll learn about a planet where it rains glass and the wind can blow faster than the speed of sound. Are you already intrigued? Let's dive into it. Our Earth, the only heavenly body we know to host life. But there is a huge number of other planets that can also host life outside the solar system in deep space. Let's look at the southern part of the sky. There, you can see the most famous constellation of the southern hemisphere, namely the Southern Cross, or Crux, and the Centaurus constellation, located on Charles's Wayne Virgo line. To the south of the Centaurus constellation, and to the left of Crux, there is the closest exoplanet to Earth, the mysterious Proxima Centauri b, which resembles our planet at the first glance. As you see, Proxima Centauri b always faces its parent red dwarf star, Proxima Centauri, with the same side. This is why one side of the planet is scorching hot and has many clouds, while the other one is always cold and cloudless. But what makes it so unique? Let's see. Proxima b is an exoplanet that rotates around its parent star, Proxima Centauri, which is a red dwarf and an M-type star. The discovery of this exoplanet was proved by a group of astronomers from the European Southern Observatory in August 2016. It was discovered using the radial velocity method, which makes it possible to detect a star by observing regular shifts in spectral lines of the star's spectrum due to the Doppler effect. Proxima b is 1.27 times heavier than Earth, and it orbits its parent star in 11.2 days. It is located approximately 4.22 light years, or 43 trillion kilometers away from the Earth. This is 266,000 times farther than the distance from Earth to the Sun. There is no day and night cycle on Proxima b, as it always faces its star with one side, due to being tidally locked, much like the Moon to Earth. This means that one side of Proxima b is always hot, while the other one is cold, with temperatures as low as absolute zero. The planet might have freakishly strong winds, that is, if it has an atmosphere. Proxima b is a rocky planet. It's located 7.5 million kilometers from its star. Despite being so close to its star, Proxima b is potentially livable as the temperature on the star surface is two times lower than on the Sun, and its mass is ten times lower. But is it really livable? Let's take a closer look. Being just four light years away from Earth, Proxima b is our closest known neighbor outside the solar system. However, studying the planet's atmosphere is impossible with the use of standard methods. In this case, scientists have to rely on different Earth models to create several theories on what Proxima b might be like. This will help us understand whether the planet is livable. One of these models posits that Proxima b is a water planet with ocean circulation that has warmer currents moving to colder regions, but no land. Take a look at an oddly shaped exposed ocean covering the entire planet's surface. Another computer model looks at what would happen if Earth orbited Proxima Centauri, our closest stellar neighbor and apparent star of Proxima b, the same way this exoplanet orbits it, and the Pacific Ocean was on the star side. It might look something like this. The third model presented by the researchers hypothesizes what would happen if the Earth were in Proxima b's location and was also tidally locked with Africa on the star side. It would probably look something like this. The fourth model theorizes what Proxima b would look like if it was a water planet without any currents or dry land. Take a look at what the star side of the planet would look like. So. According to the predominant scientific theory, Proxima b has one main property which is also common to Earth. It orbits within the habitable zone of its star, 
meaning that the surface temperature makes us optimistic about the presence of water. Researchers suppose Proxima b might have a big 200-kilometer deep ocean covering its surface, and also a thin gaseous atmosphere, very similar to what we have on Earth. Furthermore, in the case the rotation is synchronous, the heat transfer between the dark side of the planet and the side facing the star should have made the entire surface of the exoplanet potentially habitable. Therefore, if Proxima b is proven to have atmosphere and water, it has a very high chance at hosting life. But there is some bad news. In 2017, a team of astronomers detected a massive stellar flare, a powerful burst of radiation coming from Proxima Centauri. In the light of this fact, the potential habitability of the exoplanet which orbits Proxima Centauri comes into question. At its highest brightness, this flare was 10 times brighter than the most powerful solar flares that have been observed at approximately the same wavelength. A powerful emission has increased Proxima Centauri's brightness by 1,000 times in 10 seconds. Before this, there was one weaker flare. The whole process took about two minutes. Such stellar flares take place when the magnetic field of the star changes, accelerating electrons almost to the speed of light. Accelerated electrons interact with highly charged plasma that the star is mostly made of, causing an eruption that spreads radiation across the whole electromagnetic spectrum. Most probably, Proxima b has received a high dose of radiation during this stellar flare. Moreover, several other X-ray flares have been observed on Proxima Centauri in the past. In billions of years of Proxima b's existence, this could have eradicated the atmosphere and ocean, wiping out all life on the planet. This planet seems bright blue to a regular human eye, but thinking that it resembles our friendly Earth would be a fatal mistake this planet's atmosphere is deadly dangerous. Being caught in the rain here is more than just something uncomfortable. HD 189773b is located in the Volpecula constellation at a distance of 63 light years from the Sun. It is much bigger and hotter than Earth. This exoplanet was first discovered in 2005. It is well studied by Hubble and other telescopes, as it is relatively close to Earth. This is a massive gas giant orbiting very close to its parent star. A stunningly high 1,000 degrees Celsius temperature makes the planet's atmosphere steaming hot. HD 189773b is 13% heavier than Jupiter and it orbits its parent star every 2.2 Earth days with an orbital speed of 152.5 kilometers per second, making this hot Jupiter a poor candidate for hosting extraterrestrial life. The planet's blue color is believed to come from silicate particles in the atmosphere which disperse blue light. Because of the planet's surface temperature, the particles can condense, turning into glass. Then, these glass seeds are being blown at a whopping speed of 2 kilometers per second. Now, isn't that absolutely breathtaking? The highest wind speed that has ever been detected on Earth is only 408 kilometers per hour, and this is 20 times slower than on the exoplanet. Our planet's regular wind speed is about several meters per second, but on this exoplanet, it's 2 kilometers per second which is about 1,000 times higher. Being seven times faster than the speed of sound, the cruel winds of HD 189773b would take any unfortunate guest on a deadly spiral around this planet. Using Spitzer Space Telescope data on infrared radiation, NASA's astronomers created a map of the exoplanet surface. It shows temperature fluctuations above cloudy peaks of this gas giant. Higher temperatures are highlighted here in brighter colors. HD 189773b, known as Hot Jupiter, orbits its parent star much closer than Mercury does our Sun. It has a high orbital speed and is tidally locked with its parent planet, much like the Moon to Earth, meaning that one side of the exoplanet always faces its star. 
The map clearly shows that HD 189773B has a warm spot on the so-called stellar side, the one that always faces the star. But the map also shows that this spot has shifted from the high noon point by 30 degrees. Scientists argue that the hot point has been shifted by the fierce winds to the east. What's more interesting, astronomers established that temperature indices on this planet are fairly stable. The dark side of the planet has a temperature of about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, or 650 degrees Celsius, while the exoplanet's sunny side is 1700 degrees Fahrenheit, or 930 degrees Celsius. This moderate temperature variation is proving once again the presence of extreme winds, which help to transfer the heat from the hot and sunny side of the planet to its darker side. So, this was another episode from our series on mysterious and shocking exoplanets. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to leave a like so that we can see how many space enthusiasts are out there.